Last time you were in here, this was mostly full of new valves. Most of those are now in the machine, and uh, we, what we we're down to now is our stocks of spares. Uh, what we have managed to increase, rather, rather pleasingly, is our stocks of these 6-inch CRT tubes which are used for the display unit and we've managed to find quite a few of those which is a, a great relief because we're probably going to need a number of spares of those. So we're more or less at the point where we have enough spares we hope to keep the machine running for about 20 years or so. The, the valves that we managed to procure have ranged from the uh, extremely good condition, never out of the box for the last 60 years, through to ones that have been stored in very, very poor condition, like these ones, where you can see the metal coating on the outside has completely deteriorated. It doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't damage the functionality to any significant degree, but they do look pretty grim, so where we have an option, we try and use the, the, the newer version of those, which is, is these types up here, which uh, look a lot better. Here. These are identically, although they look physically different, they're actually functionally completely identical to these ones. The biggest problem we've had is the valve bases, the sockets that the valves plug into. Um, one particular type, the B9G, it's been out of production for many, many decades. So we've had to get these substitute ones from China. They're to a very, very slightly different mechanical spec. The, the spec of these pinholes is a little bit different. So, uh, as well as managing the project, Andrew has sat in his workshop for many long hours drilling each one of these out with a tiny burr drill. We reckon he has drilled something between 10 and 12,000 holes. Absolutely mindless task. 